As we continue to see an expansion in our offshore, coastal and maritime industries, we also need to see improvements and considerations as we develop our mitigation and monitoring strategies, our methodologies and also our technology. This will ensure that we have a thriving blue economy and that we can ensure that we see constant improvements in this area. We've never seen an event which brings together marine mammal specialists to focus on this area, particularly in marine mammal monitoring and mitigation until today. Today's event has been brought together by the Marine Mammal Observers Association and the Institute of Marine Engineering Science and Technology. We've hosted this in Edinburgh and we have over 110 delegates from over 13 countries representing a variety of specialist professions. I run a company called Blue Ocean Marine Tech Systems in the UK. I came to this event to find out about new technology. So I work for um, Royal Haskoning DHV as a marine mammal consultant. I came to this conference to get a little bit more insight about life as MMO. This event is the first of its kind. The first time we've seen international specialists for marine mammal mitigation and monitoring come together for this structured event to cover a variety of really key topics such as consenting and licensing, technology and innovation, as well as freelance consulting life. I'm an active member of the I'm Arrest Marine Mammal special interest group. Coming from Canada, with the largest coastline in the world, we're trying to manage huge economic zones. So there's a lot of lessons to be learned here when it comes to marine mammal mitigation, the technologies being used, the advancements, the challenges that have been faced, and those conversations are really important. So this is the type of platform that this conference offers. So one of the key aims today as well is just to get people in the room talking and the networking is critical in our field. Also, it's really important that we inspire the next generation to actually come forward and figure out how to get work, how to actually improve themselves professionally. Really what we're seeing is that there are not enough people in the workforce to do the scaled up uh, observation work that is demanded of the increasing blue economy and the increasing blue energy that we see. So how can we develop tools to enable the human MMOs to do more with less? This is really our way of breaking down silos and being able to engage with the entire community so that they understand what tools are available to them and how we'll be able to meet the, the rising need of marine mammal accountability. So this is the first time we've put together this entire theme covering all these amazing topics and really helping you know, to get people more engaged, more involved in this sector. This international collaboration that we've got people from Canada, people from Brazil, people from Guadalupe even, you know, so many different countries are coming to be represented here and it's fantastic to see. So I'm really pleased with the outcome.